Hey YouTube, Motor Racing Network, Steve Post here with another huge collection of diecast. In fact, this might be the largest collection of new diecast we've ever featured here on the show. We're going to actually have to set the table two more times after this initial table setting to get all of the cars in. It's exciting though and a lot of really, really neat things. We're going to start off with the raw finish of the car. And this is the way they come off the assembly line before the paint is applied. And we have got, as you can see here, a huge variety of raw finish cars. We'll start down here with Carl Edwards, UPS, in the raw finish. And then we have the Fastenal finish as well for Carl Edwards from Roush Fenway Racing. So his Fords we have in a raw finish with two different paint schemes. Tony Stewart, next up we have the Code 3 Associates sponsorship on the car. We have the Bass Pro Shops on the hood of the car for Tony Stewart and the Mobile One for Tony Stewart. Now, when dealing with all of these raw paint schemes, want to remind you that the quantities are very, very low. So consequently, if we don't have it on our website, check with your local diecast dealer because very few of these cars are made, maybe the only time we run this finish. So if you want them, you better get them now and get them quickly. Moving on here, we've got Austin Dillon's Dow Chemicals sponsorship on his Chevrolet, Danica Patrick's Aspen Dental, paint scheme and then we move on to Dale Earnhardt Jr. with a couple here the Diet Mountain Dew on the hood of the car for Dale Earnhardt Jr. of course from Hendrick Motorsports and you know, the reigning Daytona 500 champ the National Guard paint scheme as well for Dale Earnhardt Jr. moving on to Joe Gibbs Racing we have Matt Kenseth's Dollar General in the raw finish and then over at Roush Fenway Racing Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Nationwide Insurance on his car and Nationwide announcing a couple of weeks ago they're moving to Dale Earnhardt Jr. next year so this on Stenhouse car going to be one of those collectible items that you want to make sure you get. Moving on to Casey Kane we've got the Pepsi Max raw finish on that Chevrolet and the Farmers Insurance finish as well. So there's your back row of them. Let's move to the front row. Kurt Busch the Haas Automation Haas CNC car in the raw finish and we have Brad Keselowski from Penske Racing, the Blue Deuce, well, except for it's Silver Deuce, this time for Brad Keselowski in the raw finish. Jeff Gordon, we have a couple of his cars, the Pepsi Max Chevrolet from Jeff Gordon and the AARP Drive to End Hunger, again, very limited quantities, as you can see there on the screen. Jimmy Johnson, a couple different ones. We've got the Lowe's sponsorship, Lowe's on the side, Lowe's on the hood, and we've got the Cobalt Lowe's, the Lowe's on the hood, and Cobalt on the side of it for Jimmy Johnson's car. Again, these are the raw finished cars. Casey Kane, Great Clip Chevrolet from Hendrick Motorsports. And then we've got a trio of cars that Kevin Harvick wheels from Stuart Haas Racing. Jimmy Johns, of course, one of the sponsors on his car. The Outback Steakhouse car, and you can even see the Bloomin' Onion on the hood of it. And the Budweiser car for Kevin Harvick, all in the raw finish. Finally, we have Ty Dillon's Nationwide Series car, the Yingling Light Chevy Camaro from Richard Childress Racing, and Greg Biffle's 3M Ford for Roush Fenway Racing. So again, the raw finish of these cars, very unique, very limited quantities, and right now they're available at Plan B Sales, or if we don't have them on our website, check your local diecast dealer because they maybe were able to grab a couple of them. These are the raw finishes. Stay tuned. When we come back, we've got another special finish coming up. All right, so we've reset the table, and now a different finish, the liquid color finish. And, you know, this is backed by popular demand. It's been a little time since we've had this variety of liquid finish cars, and again, limited quantities on these, but, man, these cars really pop. Look at this Dale Earnhardt Jr. National Guard Chevrolet car, 124 scale, and that silver is just absolutely sharp in the liquid color finish. Similarly, the blue colors really come off well, and look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. The Farmers Insurance Chevrolet with Casey Kane. Awful good looking race car there. We also have the Great Clip Chevy for Casey Kane as well from Hendrick Motorsports. We have the Drive to End Hunger AARP car of Jeff Gordon from Hendrick. And a pair of them of Jimmy Johnson. The Lowe's white paint scheme which looks awful good in this liquid color finish. And the traditional Lowe's cobalt paint scheme that Jimmy has ran so many times over the years. Here's another blue one and boy does it just pop off. Carl Edwards fasten all forward. Here's the UPS Ford for Carl Edwards from Roush Fenway Racing. Continuing on the Roush Fenway theme, the 3M Ford of Greg Biffle. Also a good-looking race car. And how about this? Nationwide Insurance, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. That is just absolutely beautiful. Great-looking race car there that Lionel has put out in this liquid color finish. Brad Keselowski, now here's the Blue Deuce, and it looks fine in that liquid color finish. And finally, from the Toyota camp, we've got the Dollar General car from Joe Gibbs Racing, 
of Matt Kenseth. Jumping forward to the front row here, Stuart Haas Racing, Danica Patrick's Aspen Dental Car available, and a trio of cars for Tony Stewart in this liquid color finish. The Bass Pro Shops machine, the Code 3 Associates car for Tony, and the Mobile One car for Tony Stewart. So a nice trio of cars for Tony Stewart and his team there. Also on the Tony Stewart bandwagon is uh, Kevin Harvick. The Budweiser car and the Blues Pop and this red is absolutely beautiful in this liquid color finish. So the Budweiser paint scheme, as always, pops right off the race car, and that is a good-looking car. Jimmy John's paint scheme and the Outback paint scheme for Kevin Harvick. And while we're at the Stuart Haas shop, how about Kurt Busch's Haas CNC car as well. Finally, Richard Childress Racing, we've got the Chevy Camaros, the Yingling Light Lager car of Ty Dillon and his big brother Austin, the Cheerios color in the liquid color finish and the Dow Chemicals colors in the liquid color finish. So really, really neat stuff here. And again, as we told you about with the raw finish, all of these special finishes, very limited quantities. So if you want them, check the website out. If we have them here, great. If not, then make sure you touch base with your local diecast dealer because they're out there and these guys are snatching these up as well. So we want to make sure that you get them. So check with your local diecast dealer and he can hook you right up. So with the raw finish before and with the liquid color finish, those are the special finishes. And oh, by the way, we have some regular paint scheme cars and you want to stick in because we've got some really unique cars coming up in our next table full. You know, I told you there's some really neat cars in the regular finish, and boy, you're going to love some of these. Nothing better than an NHRA funny car, and this one is Courtney Force's car, Rookie of the Year, a year or so back, and this Traxxas paint scheme, just absolutely beautiful. The Ford Mustangs that the Force family races, and that is really a beautiful car. Nose of it comes up, if I can get my hands to work right, comes up, just shows you the underneath of the car, the details, everything is really good on those funny cars that Lionel puts together, and this one... I saw the pre-order on this come out a few weeks ago, or saw a notice on this come out a few weeks ago, and I've been in love with this car ever since. 1965 Chevy Chevelle, NASCAR Bush Series at the time, might have even been NASCAR Sportsman Series at the time, before Bush Beer got involved, Sam Ard, one of the all-time greats in NASCAR racing, and this, the Thomas Brothers Country Ham sponsored car. This was a mainstay on the old Sportsman and Bush Series tour for years and years. He parked this car in Victory Lane a lot of times, so that 1965 Chevelle is an absolute classic and one that everyone needs in their racing collection. Now, Denny Hamlin, he just stole the victory here a little bit ago at Talladega, and we are celebrating Denny with a great line of cars. His FedEx office car, his FedEx express car, his FedEx ground car, and his FedEx freight car. All of them, of course, Joe Gibbs Racing, all of the great Toyotas, 124 scale standard finish. Really, really good cars there across the board, and uh, Denny Hamlin has virtually locked himself into the chase for the Sprint Cup Series Championship, so we'll see a lot of FedEx colors throughout the years, and you want to make sure these cars look really good on your mantle. And from last year, the Let's Do This paint scheme, hashtag Let's Do This paint scheme for Matt Kenseth with the Home Depot, we have that car for Matt Kenseth. So we have those. Now, on to the vintage finish that we've talked about a couple times here on the Diecast Review Show. Here's Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s National Guard Chevrolet in the vintage finish, and Danica Patrick's Aspen Dental paint scheme in the vintage finish. So that's what we have in the 124th scale. We also have five 164th scale cars new in stock. The Rush Truck Center cars, Tony Stewart and his race car, the Triton from GameStop car that Matt Kenseth run, uh, ran in the NASCAR Nationwide Series. We have a pair of Kevin Harvick cars, the Armor, Vienna Sausages, and Tax Slayer cars that Kevin Harvick ran. One of the things we want to note on these is we had these earlier, they were on the base because they're not toys because of the Budweiser logo on the side. Budweiser logo has been removed so these are now kid friendly and off from the base so really looks good and Briar's ice cream love Briar's ice cream in my bowl a dish at night and love the look of this Regan Smith car as well from JR Motorsports so we have got a wonderful line of new stuff the website planbsales.com has all of these cars available and of course they're available at your local diecast dealer as well stay with us everyone because the post show is coming up next It's time now for our favorite part of the show. It's called the post show and questions that you have right below here on YouTube. Just type in your question and who knows, maybe on the next post show, 
we'll get the chance to answer them. Also, before we get to the questions, I want to remind everyone that All-Star Weekend here in Charlotte is a big weekend for us as well. A warehouse sale. Details are available on our Facebook and through our Twitter account and on our webpage, but all weekend long we're going to be busy with all kinds of deals. Great, great prices, great, great products. So while you're in town, if you're coming to Charlotte for race weeks, make sure you make our warehouse sale part of your festivities. That's All-Star Weekend coming up here at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. Now onto the questions. Dylan Crow writes in and says, I have a question, which track is more fun to be at, Dover or Charlotte? Great question. You know, there's nothing like Dover, the monster mile, the way the cars dive down in the corners and sling back up off from the racetrack. So Dover is a great track to go to. Charlotte, great racetrack as well. The thing I like about Charlotte is all the race shops and everything around it. So if you're looking to make it a full weekend or a big trip where you're going to do a lot of sightseeing and stuff, I'd say Charlotte, but you won't go wrong going to Dover for some great racing action. That Monster Mile is a great racetrack and always puts on a good show. I don't think you can go wrong with either, so it really depends on what you're looking for. Racing only, you're good with both. If you're looking for a lot of things to do around the race, Charlotte, we certainly have a lot in this area to aim at. NRC JF88 writes in, by how the season is going, what big name drivers will miss the chase? And that's a great question, and, and that's kind of the beauty of the chase. We just don't know who's going to miss it because one win could put a driver in. But when we look at performance right now, a little concerned right now with the performance at Roush Fenway Racing, so maybe we look at Greg Biffle, although we're going to Michigan, and Biffle seems to own that place, so maybe we're looking at a Greg Biffle not making it into the chase. Richard Childress Racing right now. Is Ryan Newman going to get into the chase? We'll have to see what happens with Newman over there. Tony Stewart. Right now, Tony Stewart not showing a lot of speed to get the wins, but it's Tony Stewart. He's Superman. He could step up any week and go to victory lane, and we'll be like, yeah, that's Tony. He wins the race. So, I don't know. It's really tough to say because one win will virtually lock some of these guys in. We'll have to see how it all plays out, but if I had to say, those are a couple guys that I think need to pick up their game and get a little bit better speed on the racetrack to contend more for wins. Once they're contending for wins, I think they can lock themselves into the chase for the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series Championship. We love your questions. Again, those questions are right down below. And again, a reminder, All-Star Weekend here in Charlotte is All-Star Weekend here at Plan B Sales, our huge warehouse sale going on Friday and Saturday. We've got big events all the time along the way, a lot of fun and a lot of great things going on. So with the diecast, as always the case, if you can swing by and join us here or check our website out, but remember those diecast dealers, they're the backbone of what we do, and check out your local diecast dealers as well for all of these great diecast deals. deals. We love that you guys are getting involved with us here on YouTube. We have the comments below. Feel free to mention your comments here. Follow us on Twitter, at Plan B Sales, and we'll keep you informed on what we have. And please get some back and forth conversation going because we love talking racing and love talking with you race fans out there, and we appreciate the business you do give us.